Back in my home world, all the kids wanted to go into space. They wanted to be pilots. I wanted to be an astronomer. I wanted to look at the stars. I never wanted to get too close. Mayday! Mayday! I'm here! Stay frosty, everyone. Take out those fighters. Fire at will. Negative, Razor. We should focus on the cruiser. It's the Bayandor. I thought we'd finished her at Galilee Fields. If they dragged her out of dry dock, it has to be the last of their big guns. We've got to take it out before it gets in range of the Blue Ridge. You owe me one, Commissant. This is Razor. You heard the Commissant. Our target is the cruiser. Repeat, our target is the cruiser. Forget about those fighters and form up! How do we forget about dozens of bandits shooting at us? Deal with it, Lieutenant. Razor, get your squadron out of there. Preparing to finish the cruiser with our Tachyon B. Razor to White Knight. Target destroyed. Copy that, Razor. We saw the fireworks. The bandits are bugging out. Come on home. Nice going out there, Avery. That was close. You think? I was a mess. I was flying like a rookie. I've been getting so little sleep lately, I could hardly keep focused. What's that? No sleep. Is someone doing their little bit for Carolan Eridani relations? That's not what I meant. Did I hear that correctly, Lieutenant? Hey, we're just talking here. 
No need for the thumb screws. Commander Avery, pilots should be alert at all times. I don't want to hear of any off-duty activities that could jeopardize your squadron's performance. Is that clear? Is it just me, or is she one nasty lady? Maybe she's jealous of little Ray. Dune, will you shut up? What does she care about your beauty sleep? I think she's got an ulterior motive, and I'm never wrong. Dune, you're never right. Who is the greatest? Oh, I think that'll be me. Highest score in the fleet. The Navy's prettiest overachiever. I'm just glad you're on our side. Well, at least somebody cares. Did I get so much as a thank you for saving the Commissant's life? Uh, is this a test? You know what she did? She just blanked me. You sure know how to make friends and influence people. I don't want a medal. I just want some respect. Good going, people. There's nothing but dust between us and lower orbit. We are secure for bombing runs into Cyrene airspace. We are most definitely in the end game. Oh, and thank you, Commissant, for the heads up on the Bayon door. We had so many jump spikes on the screen, we didn't know what was coming at us. For all we knew, it was nothing but modular carriers. I'd like to buy you a drink. Commander. All of you a drink. Have one on me, and that's an order. Sorry. Commander, but there are urgent matters I need to discuss with Sherrod. We must compile a report for Admiral Vidal at Fleet Headquarters. I see, of course. Well, perhaps some other time. You can count on that. I mean, what is her problem? Of course I'm going to look out for someone else in my wing. It's like I've offended her by not letting her get killed. I couldn't agree more. And why don't you uh, let me take you away from all this, somewhere quiet and comfortable, so I can really show you just how much I agree with you. Did your wife fall for a line like that? Uh, soon to be ex-wife. You've been saying that for years. Only three. You've only been married for three. Yeah, but... Do you think Ray's pleased to have another Iridani around? I don't know what to think. She's always been one of us. Now it's like she's had a wake-up call. Is she avoiding you? Not exactly. But I don't think she wants to put a foot wrong in front of the commissant. It's like Thera's reminded her who she is and where she's from. And that one day she'll be going back. Well, it doesn't have to be that way. What? Well, you're serious about Ray. She's serious about you. Make it official. Get married? Sure. No need for a life sentence like Dune's. Sign up for five years. See if you like it. And that would make you the perfect candidate to be a Carolyn liaison officer. Go back with them? To Achenar? Yeah, why not? Nothing lasts forever. You can't be a pilot all your life. Next rung up the ladder and you're out of the air. Like me. And without a war to fight, promotion's gonna be slow. Yeah, there's too little happiness in the universe for people to just throw it away. It took Teresa's death to make me realize that. I hope you haven't given up finding that kind of happiness again. <laughs> oh, I keep my eyes open. Yeah, maybe there's something on the horizon. Maybe not. You've got to be kidding. Hey, that's strictly need to know, pilot. For the time being, anyway. Good night, Avery. See ya. That night, the dreams came again. It felt so real, so familiar, like I'd been with them all my life. But they weren't mine. It wasn't my sun. It wasn't my sky. They weren't my children. Whoa! Avery here. Rise and shine, flyboy. We need you at the tactical center in 20. It's okay. I was already awake. I think. Captain Junitus. At ease, Avery. We have new orders from our Eridani colleagues over at the Blue Ridge. 
the destruction of the Bayende has removed the last possible obstacle to the bombers from the Blue Ridge. We can now take them in close to the Thyrene atmosphere. That doesn't mean anything, Ray. The Nolodar are bound to have suborbital fighters and defenses, and the AAA near the surface will be completely unaffected. We need to take care of them from orbit, before committing any personnel to a manned assault. We can pinpoint targets from orbit, that's true. Our bombs are smart enough. Unfortunately, so are their killer satellites. The satellite and low-orbit missile platforms aren't designed to fire toward their own planet. If we can get below them, but still above the range of anything on the surface, the bombers can release their payloads without undue risk. I like the sound of that, but it's going to be risky enough for the fighters, especially with a Nalda on a suicide watch. We can help out from up here. Since there's no enemies left in high orbit, we can fire the Tachyon beam every time we charge up. But if the Halcyon Sun can use a primary armament, why don't we pick off the killer satellites one by one? I don't like risking the lives of my squadron when there are other options available to us. It would take days, and Noldar reinforcements are bound to be on their way. If we can get between those two layers and drop the bombs, we can deliver a crippling blow to their ground-based AAA satellite control and major communication sites. Cyrene 114 turns from a state of siege to occupation in days instead of weeks. Avery? All seems to make sense. How do the Eridani know where all these installations are? That's classified. I suppose even friends have their secrets. This one's going to save a lot of lives. Avery, time is of the essence. My cruiser alert 60, sir. We can be up in an hour. Your rendezvous with the bombers at Zulu OA-30. Then you serve in Across Dawn, local time. Avery can lead the first flight, Talar can take the second, and Sano can lead the third. But that still leaves us one pilot short. I'm yours. Best offer I've had in a long time. I've got you again? Why do we need you getting in the way? I was flying fighters when you were still in diapers. I have combat decorations from your navy in addition to those from my own people. Seven confirmed kills at Galilee Fields. I have shot better men than you. No need to get personal. And I outrank you, Lieutenant. So I suggest you find a way to deal with it. I was wrong about you. You're cool. It took the rest of us a good couple of months to hate Dune. You're way ahead. Razor to all ships. Keep tight and get ready for action. I'm picking up fighters. Dead ahead. White Knight to Razor. We're good to go with phase one. Copy that. Heads up, people. We are going live. Captain Genitus? Fire. White Knight to Razor. We're tapped out for now. You're on your own. Razor to all ships. Let's keep the heat off these bombers. 